Dear fellow Thais, it is now tragically evident that Thailand has returned once again to a vicious cycle of absolute dictatorial governance. The military junta regime that enacted this in the name of the National Council for a peace and order, led by the Army Chief, General Prayut Chan Ocha, has just forced to seize power from a democratically elected civilian government. It is an outrageous act that has violated both Thai and international laws. It is clear that the Kunta's actions are nothing but a grand larceny. What they have stolen, however, are your most precious sovereignty and fundamental rights that are legally guaranteed under democratic governance. It's impossible to put a price on these rights because they are directly equivalent to basic human dignity, a treasure whose value is immeasurable. Moreover, the junta has violated the rule of law, abused democratic principles, and destroyed your rights, liberties, and human dignity. These are their most destructive crimes. The junta's attempts to propagandize these criminal acts as legitimate are predictable. With their false promise to return peace and order, being nothing more than a deception wherein they attempt to rationalize and excuse their criminal actions. The ultimate aim is to attempt to persuade ordinary Thai people to believe that dictatorship is superior to democracy. This game plan of demeaning and discrediting your sovereignty is one that has always been played out by Thai dictators. And as always, it has failed and will fail. We condemned all the arbitrary and repressive violations of the rights and liberty of Thais and foreigners by the Thai military regime and its allies in their continued attempts to turn Thailand into a state of fear. The military regime have also claimed that at some point they will transfer sovereign power back to civilian authorities. What they mean is that that will have created a new puppet structure whose sole purpose will be to re-entrench anti-democratic elements into Thailand's body politic and to sabotage the development of Thai democracy. Any such structure will need to be removed before a more democratic and civil civilized society can be built. On behalf of Thais worldwide, who are committed to the principles of democracy and universal human rights, I hereby announce our complete and total refutation of the legitimacy of the military regime. The generals and their conspirators have no legitimate power whatsoever to govern the country's economy and society. Furthermore, we will do everything in our power to prevent the re-entrenchment of anti-democratic elements in Thailand, to defend all forms of freedom, to demand respect in all forms of human rights, and to establish a full democracy as permanent pillar of Thai society. In order for Thais to establish a full democracy in which sovereign power lies fully with the people, we again completely refute the legitimacy of the Thai military regime and officially announce the establishment of the Organization of Free Thais for Human Rights and Democracy on this day, Tuesday, June 24, 2014. This organization will now become the center for all Thais who possess an unyielding desire for full democracy. In full compliance with the principles of democracy, universal human rights, international laws, and nonviolence. The term Free Thai or Seri Thai, with its connections to the resistance movement during World War II, 
has a deep resonance with ordinary ties, reflecting their genuine desires for freedom and dignity. We are fortunate today that ties have such an historical role model in order to struggle against yet another oppressor. And our oppressors need to be clear. We will not remain inactive and accept an imposed order, and we will fight together until victory is fully realized. Colleagues in Thailand and other nations around the world have therefore agreed to pursue the following initial goals for the establishment of the Organization of Free Ties for Human Rights and Democracy. One, to oppose the military dictatorship and its aristocratic network and establish the people's complete and unchallenged sovereignty. Two, to restore and strengthen Thai democracy so that it becomes the stable founding pillar of the Thai state. Three, to guarantee and nurture respect for human dignity, equality, freedom, and peace. Four, to promote a free and fair economy. Five, to reform Thai culture so that its values are fully consistent with democracy. Six, to fully develop and improve the quality of life for all Thai citizens. I hereby announce the establishment of the Organization of Free Ties for Human Rights and Democracy. Our struggle will become possible when all groups and sectors work hard and actively together so that we can meet our common goals. And now it's that dawn of June 24th, 2014.